Hey guys, cool blow my back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Rick. Eric. And we are here with Nobody. Nobody. A uh, movie that we're picking to watch, which uh, I've actually already seen. Uh, yeah. None of these guys have seen it. I have nope. not. Yep. Nope. Um, so I don't want to say too much about it, but uh, if you guys are interested in more movies, make sure you guys check out patreon.com slash blindwave, where we have the next four movies coming out already over there, and polls that happen every other week where you can help decide future movies for Indeed. us. So make sure you guys check that out. And you can watch um, along with us as well using your own footage. We're watching on HBO Max. Yep. Yeah. But uh, no, I don't want to say too much about it, but uh, is there anything you guys need to say or know or anything like that? I know one thing and it's an actor. Okay. I've seen the trailer, so obviously I know an actor. I saw the thumbnail and I read the blurb. All right, I told you not to look at anything. He <laughs> looks all the time. I pushed the button. It was near the button. Who do you always look? Who the fuck are you? Nobody. Credits. Me? Invincible. <laughs> raccoon. Sounds like a raccoon. Nope, it's not a raccoon. Raccoons don't normally carry Sounds tiles. like a raccoon no opening amazing. my door. Golf clubs. At night? Driver. Adam. It's like the worst time. Okay. Bird tattoo. Give me your ring. He has a tattoo as well. Ring. Jesus, his son, no! What are you doing? Oh my god. What are you doing? Let him go, son. What? I'm gonna hit that woman so fucking hard with that thing. <laughs> I mean, I run the chance of her jerking her finger too. No, I get you. I just I'm not a smart person. I don't think things through. <laughs> you know? Casey Jones would have hit her. Yeah, he would have. I mean, he's a smart thinking person. We need a cat. Yeah. Yeah. You need a dog. They wouldn't have come in if they heard a dog barking. Most likely. My cat would definitely let me know if someone was down there. Come on! That one makes sense. You're up all night. He like honked at him. Like, Fuck you! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was an auditor, so kind of a nobody. That makes for a pretty dry story. Mm. Yeah, he was like a secret agent. Yeah. That's why he couldn't do anything. Auditor. Yeah. What about Joe Cotrano? He was a real secret. Jesus. Oh my god. Fucking Rebecca. Oh. Pretty cool, huh? And the old man croaked. He didn't Jesus. have much to leave, but at least I got something out of it. Wow. Is that, like, the whole Sorry world sucks other than his daughter. <laughs> the kitty! I was just trying to keep the damage to a minimum. Man, yeah, how's that working out, man? Everybody's safe, so. Jesus! Alright. Safety's on. Oh, man. I don't think anything makes me hate a person more than someone like that. <laughs> Fucking out with guns. That's not how you treat firearms. It's so fucking stupid. That Michael Ironside? Yes, it is. Holy oh, fuck. <laughs> I've seen him in so long. It took me a bit. I didn't recognize him. Don't do nothing stupid. You hear me? Who is this man on the radio he's talking to? Um, army buddy, I imagine. Like a handler or something. What kind of radio is that? Ham? Is this a ham radio? That's what it looked like. Don't they usually have like a receiver and? Hey, Dad. Uh. They can. You've been eating. That's Doc oh. Brown. Yes. What? Dude, everybody's here. <laughs> all, all my loves. Everybody. From years past. Hey, remember who he used to be? I know oh, he's gonna start. Well, I do. I'd say probably that's his buddy. What if his buddy started fading? What? Oh, we gotta save him. Better go back in time. You can't find what? My kitty cat bracelet. Where was it? Oh no. They took it. We gotta find those fucks. He's gonna go get it. FBI. His dad was in the FBI. Huh? Okay. There's this thing I gotta do. Then you better go do it. Okay. Then you best go do it. <laughs> FBI. 
<laughs> I'm looking so old. What? Your ID is a badge. Expired by about 20 years. Yeah, I'm pretty Quick. sure they're in the photo. Who are you? Yep, here's my bat for beating people. Just a man. Yeah, what's with the card playing card tattoos? Uh, this veteran knows him somehow. Thank you for your service. Okay. Seven two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guy! He locked every lock on that door. He's <laughs> like. <laughs> Okay, so he was part of some type of black ops or something, right? Sure. Okay. And he has to swallow all that shit about how he's not a real soldier. This person. I speak. You listen. You know why I'm here. Because I'm a good man. I'm a family man. Most of all, I'm a man who did not deserve your gun in his face. Now, the watch. The kitty cat bracelet. Kitty cat! Give me the goddamn kitty cat bracelet, motherfucker! What are you talking to me? I swear to God, I don't know. The goddamn bracelet. I'll help you find it. Come on, please, man. I don't know where it is. I swear to God, I don't know. Knife. Was that oxygen? Yeah. Please just leave. Please just leave. Oh, I love those shots <laughs> so much. I love the yellow. It's a daredevil. I guess they're thinking, well, we need a new vehicle. They say God doesn't close one. Boss! Boss! Please, God, open that door. Does he just really want someone to vent? I guess so. Whether I'm right. Oh, okay, I love this. <laughs> I hope these assholes like hospital food. Meet her off the bus. What are you still doing here, old man? <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> okay. Alright. It's probably a little rusty. Okay, I'm I'm really happy he's taking damage. Immediately. Sucker oh, punch to the back, back of the head. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Okay, this action's fantastic. Pulls up the knife. Oh, got him. Okay. Oh! He's hitting guy. him so hard. <laughs> Fuck kids. That's good. <laughs> I love the choreography. It's so brutal. Oh! Yep. Oh, teeth. Oh, I kicked it through. Oh my gosh. You need to stop. Ding, ding. Stop the question. <laughs> you need to stop. Okay. I love the shots or the like. They're just so fucked up. They're not all. They can't all go at once. Oh, you're on a bus, you know, you can't surround him on a bus. Oh man, he grabbed it with Fuck. hands. Fuck! Oh, I love this one shot. That was so good. That was really good. The camera's pretty perfect. Now you can hold it. He's gotta put oh, the bullets you in. Fucking coward. I think his mistake is trying to grab more than one bullet. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Oh, 
He's probably dead. Straw. <laughs> gonna trach him. Holy shit. Oh, man. Ah. Oh. Visceral. Walking away with a limp. It's one of the best shot and choreographed action scenes I've seen in a long time. Jeez, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Why? He wasn't clapping like everyone else when he came out of the off stage. Oh my god! Probably just gonna pull out knives for us, stab each other, and just one left. Gets everything. 100%'s mine now! Yeah. <laughs> this seems like a terrible thing that's happened. Then there were none. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh man, that's fuck. a guy with teeth. Who did this to my brother? It was me. He attacked us unprovoked. One man! Are you fucking with me? Don't you lie! Don't you lie! Don't you lie! Don't you fucking lie! Don't you fucking lie to me! I'm not lying to you, I swear. Please don't get more mad. <laughs> yeah. The barber. I told you. Mr. Mansell, it has been so <gasps> There it is. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, hutch. hutch. <laughs> what? Nope. And if he can't take care of a loose end like you, he'd have to give him his share of the obshack. Obshack. The obshack. That's hundreds of millions of dollars in cash, perpetually on the move. And you use the current babysitter. Gosh, it's all redacted. Nobody. I'm out, no need to pay. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out, no need to pay. Everybody get to the basement. Right now. Let's go. Move. 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 Right now. Take the lasagna. <laughs> no, it's gonna be cold. Yes, it's just a game, Hutch. I like games. I like games. What is happening? <laughs> is the basement a safe room? Don't call 911. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. <laughs> something that you don't want to hear. <laughs> Normally it's call 911. This is something the cops can deal with. Jesus, he did the one in the back too, this is so smart. Ah! Suppressed. Stick around. He's like Batman in his own house. Oh, oh my shit. gosh, I love it. You think it's the guy in the foreground? Yeah. There's a guy dying in the background. I do like that the guns are like, they're not silent even though they're suppressed. They're like still kind of loud, but they're not as loud as they should be. T, bitch! Some T, Zuko. The lasagna! Oh, fuck. Oh. Stairs, lay him down. Fuck. Alright, that should be good. Smoke him out. Ah! <laughs> Why would you yank the wheel? Just hit the brakes! Oh, cool. That's so cool. Yeah, you should've stopped. Should've been brakes, not... Not yanking the wheel. Oh shit, she was holding a knife. 
and it went through her face. Oh my god. Just to make sure that there was no one left to it. Oh, dead already. Fuck. You bored him. This story's boring. <laughs> Better die. I mean, he was gonna die anyway, right? Heads up, okay? Oh, fucking kids. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Talk to the little girl first. Brace her. There you go. That works. It was good. It was better than I expected. I might have uh, overcorrected, but everyone keeps dying. On you can't explain it. He's bored. Me. Devil. Fucking kitty cat bracelet. It was under the couch the whole time. Yep. Remember they slept on the couch? Bone burns to ash at 1,500 degrees. And this basement is designed to double that so they won't be finding you among the rubble. Oh, my God. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it is fucking cool. I see trees of green. And all of those albums are super flammable. What a wonderful world. No, that's not the car you're taking. Shit! <laughs> Four point nine meter V eight, he said. Zero to sixty, and I'm about to find the fuck out. Fucking sweet! <laughs> His face! <laughs> fuck yeah, he was so happy. <laughs> ah! Come on, baby. Please turn that shit down. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I love that. It's the so perfect good. facial expression for this. Mm -hmm. What a great casting. <laughs> you see when he did this, he had a tattoo as well <laughs> on his wrist. He could have done him or Ed Asner, no one else. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, sit down. Read. Read. <laughs> I'm gonna make it like. That's it. But what am I gonna do? I don't give a shit. <laughs> Deal. Deal. <laughs> oh, what's he doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. We have guns. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are great. Nail bombs. Too. Came and dad. I know. Who the fuck do you think I'm popping this shit up? I've got a plan. You got a fucking plan. Listen, Hutch, I'm not coming out of hiding to save your white ass. May I be alone? She put so many bullets in that guy. Be a reachable star. This is my quest to follow that star. <laughs> no matter how no matter how <laughs> Oh, his art collection. Any Van Gogh? That's a Van Gogh, isn't it? Yeah, there's definitely a Van Gogh back there. That's a fucking Van Gogh. Self-portrait. He's taking it. Oh, that's what... Right, why ask? Anything good? Like any no, good? that's what was on the interrogation table. Mm. In the beginning. Any good CRPG character. <laughs> Oh, In the water main? Fuck. No, it's a sprinkler system. <laughs> Don't worry. He's gonna burn all that money? What all he's doing. Sometimes. All that money? <laughs> that In the water main. Nah, the sprinkler system. <laughs> that way to kill everybody. <laughs> like, Jesus, Calvin. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's a lot of money. Again, the Joker. Good night. Not wrong. They gotta take it some. Might have. From the Russians? No one's gonna be mad at that. So the Russians? Six pockets. No, I'm mad at him anyway. Yeah, now they'll kill him. He doesn't have to do shit. Oh, fuck. He's just eating your. He's eating in your club. 
<laughs> oh my god. He's got a claymore. <laughs> After all, we can both rebuild, right? Right. Right. Wait. Maybe. I burned it. All of it. What all? I'm shot! Who should have seen it go up? I, I always thought that. I mean, look at my brother. The last I saw, he was still breathing. And based on what little I know of the man, that's probably more than he deserved. He honored him. Uh, <laughs> get some work done. Maybe uh, open a tiki bar on one of the lesser known Caribbean islands and live your life far from me and mine. They could open it. I'll be nearby. <laughs> Which one do you think he was wishing for? Right? I, he said the darn part of me that wants this to play out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like when he was on the bus, he's like, one door closes, another opens, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, him getting shot at just smiling, you know? There's like an allegory here to like one last drug fueled night, and then I'll get sober. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> it's probably that same lady like Son of a bitch Fuck. He's mad worth it just for that line. But God damn it, I'm seeing How do I just miss this shit? Oh, that was a really cool shot. Oh, shit. <laughs> what a great time release. Somebody's gonna step on that pen. Oh, oh man, dude, the splatter. That was like syrup. Ah, oh, fucking sweet. And he, and he hit the other guy in the face with it. Yep. Triple kill. Headshot. <laughs> no scope. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, barbed wire. Oh, Why? That one sucks. I mean, they all suck. Prepare for takeoff. <laughs> 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 he's so slow, but he's so dangerous. I just love him running with shotguns. Fuck. Fuck. It's not how shot shells work. He has a gun in there. I love it shooting the box off. Yeah. Look at her rebar guns. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Is this cool? 
cool. I'm gonna steal that. It's like Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be so much force against you! Can't believe the other guy didn't explode a little more. It's pretty rough. Well, it's pretty rough. <laughs> it's steel ball bearings is what that thing He's propels. Missing 35% of his face. <laughs> and it did what it needed to. <laughs> Could've been 40. Just a bit excessive. My glorious. Lord, it's my ass. <laughs> you both got what you wanted. And I got shot. <laughs> I owe you oh. everything. Like, oh my god, what's been going on? My life before you was... What do you know? Thanks for letting me pretend I was someone else. There you call. Let him go. <laughs> yeah. Both of them. Yeah, what? Your bosses have been fired, and you must let them go. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they fire him? <laughs> Everybody's been fired. <laughs> you have to burn the place down. You name it, this kitchen's got it. And with that, we... Uh, I'm sorry. Give Thank it to him for free. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Give it to him for free. <laughs> <laughs> Private bond. Yes. Private bond. It's for you. It's for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Does this house have a uh... basement? A basement. Come on. <sighs> Why can't we just fly there? This luggage? That's a lot of guns. That is a lot of guns. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> press I do now. The, the wheels Is that turn it? In. That might be all, maybe. I don't know if there's anything else. I think that's it. That was so funny. Like I would never have thought that the name of a Wu-Tang member would have come out of Rick's mouth. So he said it. I look at something, I look up, I'm like... What'd you say? What? <laughs> <laughs> I like the Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang! Yeah, okay. Man, what a fun, silly action movie. It, it is a silly, it is. like, yeah. It breaks down when the family comes in, like, in the terms of, like, silliness, but that doesn't ask you to take it more seriously yeah. than it treats itself. Sure. Like, it definitely does some humorous moments and stuff. Yeah. Like, the fact that he's like, where's the fucking kitty cat break? He's like, get a gun. And it's like, yeah. this is such well, a silly And it's just thing, under you know? the couch. Yeah, no, yeah he just misplaced but, it. <laughs> I mean, it, it's like the next step from, like, you killed my dog, I'm going to kill yeah. you, entire oh, yeah. Russian but it, group, you know? Sure. Yeah, and like, you know, the whole bracelet under there, he's so unconcerned, but it was going to happen regardless of what sure. was going to be the catalyst that would make him fall back into his ways. It almost know? feels like a parody. In a way, John yeah. Wick. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think Little. the main poster was like the John Wick poster, but different yeah. kind of thing, I think, mm. too. It's John Wick. But with Bob Odenkirk, sure, and, and it feels like that movie, like that elevator pitch. Yeah. yeah, it's exactly what it is. And really, like the beginning of the movie is not really connected to who he's fighting. No, you know, the break in and all that kind of stuff kind of starts to unlock it a little bit where he wants it more. Yeah. I think. Sure, it but awakens like, it. Those aren't the people he's fighting later. Yeah. <laughs> There's just these random drunk Russians that yeah. <laughs> you know crash a. They just happen crash to a be, Hummer. They happen to be near his relapse. Yep. Yeah. I love that bus scene for a lot of reasons. I want to just keep watching it, but I just love the way it showed characters coming in and out of the fight. Sure. Because when they're not there, you're not really thinking about them, but they are just in pain. Yeah. And my favorite part of it, too, is that, like, Hutch is in pain a yeah. lot. Like, it's not, you know, it's, it's the Jackie Chan model of, of successful fight choreography, where it's like, if he fucks up, he's dead. Whereas... When Steven Seagal is fighting, I don't think it's going to happen. Unless it yeah. happens while well, they're making that movie in China, and in which case you can't sue them. 
<laughs> sure. And they use a stunt double that actually gets beaten. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, they, it's not Steven Seagal. Yeah. It's like he left it like, okay, this is the real right, one. Yeah, now he loses. Hey, where's Jonathan? Get him in here. <laughs> All right, die. Yeah. So I've, I've always loved just like a, a brutal fight style that, you know, isn't necessarily a, a hyper kung fu, right? It just was really fun, well shot great sense of space because you understand where in the bus everybody is at all times sure and then we I, go out of the bus and we come back in you know yeah. I'd like to hear it on a better sound system yeah like I wonder what the blows sounds yeah. like or the bones sure. and that like, sure there's definitely some moments where it's like oh god I look away yeah <laughs> like that arm break that he does well yeah when he grabs that guy's arm and just bop and, and he just like kills it. it it's just so quick yeah, I think a lot of the blood, especially when the guns came out with CG, but there yeah. was one where a dude got blown up, and I think they just threw yep. viscera at the yeah. camera. Yeah, I think it was just like five guys' yeah. buckets. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, me too. You're talking about the stairway explosion? No. That one was no. good, too. Another one when like it comes towards the camera more, so, okay. right? Yeah. Like, that one was like, it's like around the corner, and just, yeah. ah, yeah. just yeah. throw it! <laughs> Hit the wall. That one was the one that was like, man, it looked like syrup. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I think the, the kitty cat bracelet thing, like... The night before, the daughter comes down and sleeps yeah. with him mm-hmm. on that couch. Sure. Yeah. And then the next day, she's like, where's my bracelet? And yeah. he's like, where was it? She's like, I remember here. But she might have carried it down, dropped it, not realized it, forgot sure. about it. Because my daughter does that all the time. She's like, well, where'd you have your night-night last? Like, I had it right here. Yeah. And then find it some, in a totally different room, you know? Like, what? what? <laughs> oh, yeah. So <laughs> In the car. Yeah. Yeah. But like, it wouldn't have been for that. That's his reasoning of like, yeah. oh, I'm going to go find these people right now, you know? And then there's like the kid. And he called it all, too, of like... They were desperate, looking for money. The gun was unloaded, and like you, when you see that, like, oh look, there's a child with yeah. like oxygen tanks. Like it seems desperation. They're like making like sure. ramen noodles at yeah. the table, you know. Mm-hmm. Like it seems like they're desperate, trying to make sure they have money for like their kid or something. But mm-hmm. they weren't there trying it's, to like. It's interesting now thinking back on that scene where I'm like, oh, he held himself back, but it was like a, it was like an addict. Yeah, it was like he wanted it to be that. like. A it problem. wasn't mercy necessarily. It was. He doesn't want to do this to his family to be, you know, to sure. Be back there. And he's trying not to hurt people who are yeah. like necessarily like good. Sure. He's going. Yeah. He was the one who was called when yeah. there was bad people fucking up. But Alan yeah. turned his life around. Yeah, because he said, "I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, I didn't want to do this, and you know, whatever." And he did turn around. And he's like, "Oh, there are the good people. You can do this. I want that." Yeah, but like you said, like he went too far. Yeah, you know, yeah. Maybe, maybe too I much overcorrect. Yeah, there was like no aggression or no, uh, not confidence, but no like standing up for himself. Mm-hmm. Sure. And the monotony in the beginning that it's kind of like... And those are all scenes we see later on in the movie, but they get you in that monotony rotation of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Miss the trash. Go scan your Metro card. Go to work. Honk, honk. Type in your numbers. Type in your numbers. Go back. You know, sleeping with your wife when you're not sleeping with your wife. Like, all that kind of stuff. Like, he's so protected and redacted by the government that it's actually just his name. Like, he hides as just his name because they have that much reach, right? Because when they, they... he was he was called by Hutch when they were with the realtor at the end. It's like he changed his identity. Yeah. What are they gonna do? Like anybody, I mean, any trouble he gets into, the government will just call and get him out of it. The thing too is like I don't know, like his family history and stuff. Like I don't know if uh, I think his name's David uh, Christopher Lloyd. Yeah. His dad. I don't yeah. know if that is like his real dad. I don't know if he took like ownership of Hutch and Harry. Sure. You know, because like that that's his brother. But it's yeah, like we see the young picture. Like of them both. who was the mom, or like was it more of like yeah. I found these kids and I raised yeah. them as my own kind of thing, or you sure because he was FBI. Like yeah, I, I don't know. Like there's lots of things where it's like what is his history exactly that he got into being an auditor and going into what he did. You know, so I wonder what the playing card seven two thing is such that the one veteran was able to recognize. Oh no, this guy. Is there like an urban legend? I mean, it's, thing? it's the worst hand you could have in poker. Yeah. yeah. Not only, only was it a seven and two, it was also a spade yeah. and a diamond. Yeah. So you don't have the same color, and they're also too far away from being a straight. You yeah. know, yeah. it's like there's like, it's like when you see those cards, like you're supposed to fold, right? Like it's like this is the worst hand you could have. There's yeah. no reason to continue. Just fold immediately. And I think it's probably some kind of like military veteran thing of like, you know, you do that, and the idea is like these guys are the guys that when you if you see this. You fold. You don't. Right. You don't fight these guys. They can like, literally handle th- any situation yeah, that, because look at the cards they were dealt. That veteran took off and locked every single every, lock on that, that door. That was so funny. And yeah, just a <laughs> just the right? slide shut thing. Really funny. Yeah. I love the the expression on the guy behind the counter's face when he was watching every yeah. lock shut and just 
how wide his eyes got every time yeah. looking at each one shot. It's it's so fun watching Bob Odenkirk in this role because he, we know for a fact he's so good at timing and delivery and tone and and modulating his voice. But all the real funny jokes in here were not relied on that. It was relied on timing of editing and, mm-hmm. and just the situation that we're like in. the guy being choked and being like stop requesting yeah. <laughs> you know while he's being yeah. choked yeah, by that really cable like and that. stuff. But uh, no, like the veteran did that. Even the lady who was like looking into him, uh-huh. like once she like got more information on who this guy was, yeah. she flopped from being like, "Yeah, don't worry about this guy. He's as yeah. vanilla as they come." To being like, "Don't even pay me. I'm out. You know, <laughs> I don't want to have anything to do with this. I'm gonna be around when he gets here. I don't want any paper trails. Saying, I don't want I you to remember my name. <laughs> Nothing. I love it. There was a uh, what was it? There was something because I started looking at like a trivia thing, and there was a thing I got. Where was it? It was about Christopher. Lloyd. Lloyd. Yeah. Um, according to the director, which was uh, Ia Naishula? I don't okay. know how you say it. But anyway, Christopher Lloyd insisted on carrying the heavy shotguns himself without any assi- assistance. Good. So he's like, I'm carrying these on my own. You oh, know? nine. <laughs> and he's just like walking around. Like he, Calvin was like, he's looking so slow. He does, but he's just carrying these shotguns. <laughs> he's so slow, but he's so dangerous. Dude, his... His expression was pitch perfect when he's holding that guy, and the guy comes like, turn down, you know, turn down your TV, and he's just, I don't know, something about him felt so, like, <laughs> old man gone to seed, but still fucks you up, like, look in that face, I don't know. Um, on here, someone says that the tattoo on Hutch's wrist uh-huh. is a seven of spades and a two of diamonds, which is statistically the worst possible gotcha, starting yeah. hand that can be dealt in Texas Hold'em. Since there are since yeah. since these are the lowest two cards that you can't make a straight, and both of them are off suit, yeah. meaning that if you ever see these cards, you should fold. Um, in tarot card reading, the spade and the sword is linked to bad luck, death, and violence, while diamonds and coins are linked to money. Yeah. So the translation was: this man dealt in death and violence for money. Yeah. So like, it goes even further than that, going in a tarot card reading. Mm. Hmm. So that may be the full re- reason of why they have that then. Uh, oh, um, the very top one, too, is interesting. Based on the idea by Bob Odenkirk, who dealt with a home invasion himself by trapping the trespassers in the basement. He oh, was frustrated with how the authorities dealt with the situation and had thought about how he would take the matter into his own hands if he was a badass. <laughs> if he was a badass. <laughs> and then, like, it says that he also trained for, like, two years to, to do the movie. He, he did a fantastic job. I, fantastic. I loved all yeah. the intention and the fight choreography. I mean, whoever they, whoever those guys that were playing the the shitty dudes, like, they were fantastic fall men. Sure, yeah. Like, they One of them was a guy who day. trained him. David yeah. something. They only had Riza? Is that how you say it? Riza. RZA? RZA? Yeah. Uh, for four days, including rehearsal. Wow. They got he, a lot out of him. He then. slipped in the action sequences. Uh, he easily slipped in the action sequences. He's seen more action movies than I have, which is rare. Oh, yeah. Is what the director said. Yeah. There are some fun comedic moments and stuff. And, yeah. like, like my my first watch through, like, the bus I really liked. And then some of the other parts, I'm kind of like, I don't know how I feel about this yet. And then it got to, like, the Christopher Lloyd part when he just pops out and it's like, the, just shoot me with a shotgun. And it's like, you brought a lot of Russians, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, I fucking love this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I never no, I want to rewatch the movie with that tone in mind. Because at first, like, I really loved the editing, of course. It, very, it felt very Edgar Wright yeah. with the monotonous routine that he fell in. Mm-hmm. But then you realize that's his fantasy. He wants that, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, obviously, the, the relationship with the wife... Like, I don't really know. I had to, I guess, the think history about that there a is a little. That's like, that, uh, obviously, he's distant because he can't share anything. Yeah. Maybe, like, it's just like, well, that just comes to territory. It was something that me and uh, Melanie talked about a little bit because it's like, she, he has that line where he's like, uh, kind of like old times. Yeah. But then she also kind of like, you going to explain some stuff or anything? Yeah. But I'm like, does yeah. she know? Or is it, do you need to explain this moment right now? I or think was she. This moment right now. Like, they met in Rome, so he was probably active. I Maybe I think it, it could be. I thought it implies like he's come home, beat the fuck out before, but he will not talk about it. Right? Maybe that's what I mean, caused the distance. I, but I, I thought also, that's what she meant, or what he meant by like in the dark for now, but yeah. I'll explain everything later. Yeah, sure. Like if, I also uh, thought that maybe they didn't do anything because he had been an auditor and he yeah. wanted that life, so he left it and then found yeah. this in his. Kitchen. She would have had a very different reaction. I feel like when he came in all beat up. 
if she didn't have hadn't seen that before. Sure. Yeah. So like I have some questions on some of but that. But she says like is she covering for him when she says, "Well, your uncle's a real soldier." Yeah, maybe. Sure. Yeah. Like that. Those kind of statements feel like she doesn't know who he is or think you know anything of him really. I guess yeah. as far as like that stuff, right? So I don't. I don't know. And there's also the thing where, like, Harry says about your relapse, too. So yeah. I'm like, maybe he went through some spells at different times, too, where it is, like, an addiction, where he went out looking for trouble yeah. and would come back, and, like, maybe that's what separated them more. Which or... the routine makes a lot more sense now, because at first you think about, like, oh, okay, I'm just trapped in this everyday routine of life. I sure. want to mess things up. But mm-hmm. instead, like, an addict tends to follow routines. Like, you know, what do I do when I want a cigarette? It's like, well, I do this now. You know, I create a new routine. And I get into that habit so I can get rid of these habits. So, if anything, he's just replacing that need for violence and, and all that with a boring routine, I guess. felt like a mix of uh, John Wick and True Lies. True Lies. That's sure. Feel Trying like. to go back to a different life kind of yeah. thing. And Reminded me of Red. Mm. Red. I don't think I've seen Red. Red. Yeah. Bruce Willis. Uh, Bruce Willis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You haven't seen that one. And it makes sense. Why he has a cat? His daughter wanted one. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, cat. Yeah, they look in the cat. You need a cat. <laughs> I'm thinking the, the same thing. Yeah. And the painting. And the yeah, painting. He grabs that painting. He just fucking takes it, and the government lets him. <laughs> I think, like, he saw it as a Van Gogh. He's going to burn this place uh, down. I can't burn a Van Gogh. I better grab there this. Was you know? There was more than one. more than one. more than one. But yeah, Maybe that's his favorite. Maybe. Had, that was, were they all Van Goghs, though? Or was it They just weren't like, all Van Goghs, yeah. but there was at least two. Like, maybe it was like, this is... Like, I there know was, it's a Van Gogh. I better take it. There was definitely the self-portrait back on the back wall by the door. But, mm. yeah, there there were many, many paintings. Julian was a very eccentric baddie. He's a very baddie baddie. You know, like, his thing with He's that guy very, who just yeah. breaks his glass and just kills yeah. a guy for no reason to be like, you think I'm tough now to take care of your money? I thought with Julian getting his own title card, he was going to be much more of a peer. But he didn't feel like it. He just felt like a bad guy. He was like a crazy Russian guy, but yeah. he didn't feel like, oh, here's a mirror or something like that. Sure. But he did get his own title card sequence. Sure. Well, also, like, Bob... Um, Kirk. Yeah. A Hutch, Hutch doesn't have a lot of people that he can kill yeah. either, you know? Yeah, sure. Thing. Like, sure, it's easy to look threatening when you're killing everyone, but who would he have killed Sure. that wasn't the family? Yeah. Yeah. His biggest thing was just... I think the resources and everything that he had and the willingness to do whatever, you know? Like, he expects people to yeah. bend to him. Yeah. Like, he crossed that street with no care for what the cars are doing because those cars will stop for me kind of thing. True. You know? Gets on that stage, sings, no shame. Yeah, I'm going to do what I want to do and everyone else is going to listen. And that guy who didn't clap for me, kill him. <laughs> you know? like It sucks that, <laughs> that his 3% of his retirement or whatever is just absorbed by the other mobsters. I, yeah, it sucks that like none of the other mobsters like, care about the people that are also in your 401k, you know? Like, I mean, we need to be a brotherhood. Like, come on. It's not like it goes to his wife or his yeah. kids. Yeah, yeah. Well, in... <laughs> I feel like that feeds in the idea of like, well, fuck, that's okay. I can kill some other guys. I can get some more money, you know? Sure. And you get down to one guy I, just owning everything. And I killed them all. This is my 401k. Yeah. I assume Hutch just has like, does he just have like endless resources? I mean, that house they were going to get to at the end there is pretty great. Or did he just sell the painting? I mean, that painting will get you a lot. Yeah, if a lot he gold. has any more gold he has, Yeah, he has gold. Yeah. You know, I mean, it could have been that that's why he took the painting. was like, this will sell for a lot. And I can get money for this because yeah. he took all the gold and bought the one place. Though he also could make money from the manufacturing building. Yeah. After he fixes it back up a bit. Yeah, sure. After insurance. Yeah. Uh, or he gets some money from his dad and his brother who are selling guns or whatever they're doing. <laughs> I don't know what they're up yeah, to. Yeah, are they running guns or are they delivering I, all of Hutch's guns to his new house? I'm not sure because <laughs> Harry, like when they were on the first call, also was like, ah, you know, being a dead man, you get some time to do stuff. So he was learning an instrument and whatnot. So it's sure. Like, I don't know what he's doing now. Get that. I just love Chris Lloyd being like, I really miss this shit, you know? <laughs> yeah. I really Shoot miss some Russians, shit, you know? <laughs> And him killing the guys there, and the guy coming in, and be like David, turn that down. That was the, great, man. That was I loved it. And I'm pretty sure I didn't notice it the first time, but I think he had the same card tattoo when he went like this and turned down. There was a tattoo, but I couldn't tell exactly what oh, it was. Yeah, okay. but I think he had the seven and two tattoo as well. Sure. So, and Michael Ironside, a very small role. It, it was. was a very small role, but it was very fitting, <laughs> right? 
about the no. dark side? When he showed up, I did not recognize him right away. And then okay. I'm like, oh, is that him? Like, the voice seems weird, though. I don't know. I, didn't, I recognize by his face, not his and, voice. And I then, recognize the voice, not the face. And then there was a turn right there towards the end of his first scene. I'm like, that's Michael Ironside. And I'm like, I'm looking it up to make sure. <laughs> and I looked it up. I'm like, okay, yeah, it is. But now, somehow I made it through, my first time watching, I made it through without looking at it. So I didn't realize there was Christopher Lloyd. Or that there was Michael Ironside. Yeah. yeah. So I kind of like, Tom, quit looking at stuff. I was what you were looking at. Which one at. did you see? I saw them both. But oh, I both. made sure and waited till they were off screen to say, whoa. Oh, okay. No, he sure. didn't. You called Michael Ironside, and then I looked up, and the next thing I saw was Christopher Lloyd. I'm like, damn it. Quit pointing to the uh, credits, oh, okay. Calvin. Rizzo was up there, too. <laughs> was he? Okay. <laughs> like, damn, quit looking at these. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't pick out him. Was, I was like, yeah, I know this guy. I feel like I know his face. If it was Grizzly, I would recognize him. If it was Old Dirty Bastard, if it was Method Man. <laughs> but I don't know why I don't have Grizzly in my like, face in my Rolodex of Wu-Tang. <laughs> Your Rolodex? <laughs> why? It's a Rolodex. <laughs> it's old. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, man. All right. Well, the, the last thing I had, too, is like in the very beginning, yeah. like when you don't really know what's going on, he doesn't beat up the people and stuff like that, too. I like that... Um, when the daughter's like jumping over the couch, I felt like he grabs the pillow and pulls it under her very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> like it felt like a kind of thing. Sure. And I don't know if it was just like more of a dad thing or more of like a reflex kind of like Gotta check myself so quick kind of and, thing. you know, yeah, for this. Like, a, it, like a Spider Man doing shit real quick before Mary yeah. didn't hurt herself. It just felt like a, that seemed okay. very I quick. Sure. I don't know. Yeah. So I don't know if like that was a thing that they looked at or anything where they were doing it or what, but. Yeah. Or just like he's trying to be a good dad. And I love that, like, the kitty cat bracelet because she's like the only person who is like showing him any love, you know? Yeah. The brother is like tired of him. Yeah. Because he didn't the help son's him. He's like embarrassed about Yeah, that's, him. I mean, the son. Yeah. Like, he's like, I talked to the uncle. Or whatever, but even, yeah, know? but even his brother in law is very like. Puts a gun in his face. Gives him the gun. Oh, my God. I hate <laughs> that guy. I hate he's that a, guy. So. He's supposed to be a military guy, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, oh, my he was God. A soldier. But he didn't see any action. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you did, know, you did say that. Yeah. So when he said grandpa too, I don't know if he meant like his dad, yeah. like Christopher Lloyd or Michael Ironside. I don't know which sure. one he meant as like, oh, he saw some action. Yeah. But yeah, that guy, when he did that, I was glad he punched him later on in the end too. Mm-hmm. And I was glad he's like, no, dad, he don't do it. Him what up. about yeah. it? How does safety on? In the exact spot that you want to punch somebody. He's like, breathe, breathe, yep. deep. Yep. <laughs> so it was so good. But no, nah, shut the fuck up. It was like the only person who loved him was still his daughter, and he's yeah. like, I will do anything to make sure she's happy. <laughs> if anything. And I want an excuse to. <laughs> this is just going to change the way I watch Better Call Saul, where I'm like, damn it, Jimmy, just fucking get your ass. Right? There's a moment in the uh, when he's eating, when like he stops singing, he's just there eating a steak, yeah. where uh, I felt a little Saul, like, go go get a tiki bar. So, you know, like doing some of that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a few sure. lines, I'm like, that felt a little Saul-ish, you yeah. know? But, no, it's, it's it was fun. I watched this, then we saw like a Better Call Saul that we watched this week, and uh-huh. I was like, this is so weird. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, very much enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, make sure you come back for more movies every week. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe. Check out patreon.com slash blindwave. You can see more there. You can also vote for future movies and some polls that we have every other week. And uh, also the full length of these movies, if you want to watch along the entire reaction, because we can only put so much here. Uh, there's no reference footage yet, so make yeah. sure you get your own, you know, but HP. <laughs>